exploring our body. What is the first thing you sense when you wake up in the morning? The warmth of your bed? The sound of the alarm clock? The sunlight entering your room? The smell of breakfast being prepared in the kitchen? How do you gather so much about things around you? All these actions involve your senses. We do not often think about our senses because they have always been there. They tell us about our surroundings and about our own self. Sense Organs We have five main senses. Eyes for sight. Ears for hearing. A nose to smell. A tongue to taste. And skin to feel the sensation of touch. Vivan can see the vast blue sea, smell the sea air, feel the spray on his face, listen to the sound of waves breaking on the shore while licking candy floss. Eyes Our eyes are like a camera. They make pictures of the outside world. When we look at something, light bounces off that object and enters our eye. The black circle at the center of the eye is called the pupil. Light passes into the eye through this opening. The colored part of the eye is called the iris. The color of the iris varies from person to person. The lens in the eye projects the image of the object on the retina. Retina is present at the back side of the eye. Message about this image are sent to the brain via nerves. This is how we are able to recognize the different colors and sizes of the objects we see. Eyes also help us to judge how far an object is from us. Ears Sounds are made by air vibrations. When something makes a noise, it creates movements in the air called sound waves. The outer part of our ear, that part which we can see, is shaped to collect these sound waves. These travel deep inside the ear through the eardrum till they reach tiny thin nerve endings. These send messages to the brain and that is how we hear the sounds and are able to distinguish between each sound. Nose The nose helps us to breathe 
and smell. It is a very sensitive organ. It can detect many different smells from the air that we breathe in. When we sniff, air gets sucked into our nose. It passes through the tiny hair that line the nasal cavity till it reaches a membrane which is full of nerves. These nerves send signals to the brain and that is how we distinguish between different smells. The nose also helps us in taste. The smell of the food helps us to identify the food item and enjoy its taste. You must have noticed that you do not enjoy your food when you have a bad cold and your nose is blocked. This is because you cannot smell the food you are eating. For most animals, the sense of smell is more important than sight. They smell their enemies much before they see them. A polar bear can smell its prey from more than 20 kilometers away. Most animals rely on their sense of smell to mark their territories or look for a mate. Exploring our body Tongue The tongue helps us to taste and eat food. Taste helps us to enjoy food and also warns us if something is not good to eat. Taste buds on the tongue's surface help in detecting the four main flavors of food. Bitter, sour, salty and sweet. Most foods are a mixture of more than one of these. There are more than 10,000 tiny taste buds clustered around tiny bumps you can see on your tongue. They are replaced every two weeks. Nerves inside the taste buds send messages to your brain about what you are tasting. As one grows, only 5,000 of the taste buds remain functional. Babies have taste buds all over the inside of their mouth. But some taste buds die as one gets older. That is why old people complain that food does not taste good. Skin We can feel with any part of our body because there are nerve endings all over our skin. That is how we react to heat, cold, texture, pressure and pain. Some parts of our skin like the fingers toes and lips 
are more sensitive than other parts of the body. The sense of touch is very important. The system of Braille which enables blind people to read and write is based on the sense of touch. Patterns of raised dots representing letters and words are made on the page. The blind person can read what is written by touching the dots with his or her fingertips which become especially sensitive. The nerves on the fingertips immediately transmit the information to the brain for decoding. Louis Braille, a French man, invented this system in 1874. He had become blind at the age of three. The skin is our body's protection from the outside world. It keeps out dirt, water and germs and also shields us from the sun's burning rays. A large part of our body is made up of water and the skin prevents the body from drying out. Care of the sense organs. Protect your eyes. They are precious. Be careful during Diwali while lighting firecrackers. Never watch a solar eclipse without sunglasses. Do not put any sharp object inside your or anybody else's ears. You may injure your eardrum. Avoid listening to loud music. Keep your skin clean by washing it regularly. Do not insert any object inside your or anybody else's nostrils.